Repeat after me. It's okay to burn bridges. It's okay to burn bridges. Well, wasn't that a dramatic start? I'm Wes, by the way, and I have probably burned more bridges in my life than the Second World War. I've burned bridges to the future. I've burned bridges to the past. I've burned bridges left and right. And not gonna lie, some of those bridges, I was probably an idiot for lighting up. But none of the bridges that lead, and this is my point of the day, none of the bridges that lead back to toxic people, people who mock you or drag you down or insult you or are violent towards you or abusive towards you or for whatever reason being it mental illness or drug addiction or alcohol addiction or just being really shitty people tend to treat you like crap and think they can get away with it. I have burned many of those bridges and I don't feel guilty about it one bit. See, sometimes you get into the situation where, yeah, I need this person out of my life, but I don't want to shut the door completely. I might need them one day or I might, I might regret pushing them out of my life one day. I might regret it. So I'm going to leave the door open just enough for me to, for them to come to me or for me to go running back to them. And you know what? That just leads you back into falling into the exact same cycle. And you wind up back where you started on the wrong side of the bridge. So it is perfectly okay like I was unfortunately forced to do last week, earlier this week now, I guess. No, last week. I forget what day it is some days. When you have to, it is perfectly okay to say, I am going to douse this bridge in gasoline, throw down a little TNT for show, I'm going to blow that son of a bitch up, I'm going to burn it to the ground, going to brush the ashes away so that there is no going back. And better or worse, I will live with the decision. And don't get me wrong, there have been people in my life that have burned those bridges to me. And I get that because most of the time the people that did that, I was not a good person to. I am not perfect. I am not immune to being an asshole. I am not immune to saying the wrong thing. And I've had people cut ties. And I've cut ties with people. Thing is, you can't grow as a person. And some people would say, oh, well, you want to live in an echo chamber. No, it's not about living in an echo chamber. It's you can't grow as a person when you are being toxified from all the crap around you. There's some dramas in life that once you decide you don't need them, you don't need to be able to stick around to watch. Sometimes it's like, oh, well, you know, I just want to stay and watch the train wreck. Well, no. You want to stay because you still can't take your eyes off of them. You want to stay because you secretly want to see what happens next or you don't want to hurt them or you figure at some point 
they're going to need you. And what if I'm not there? I get I, I do this to myself a lot. What if I walk away and something happens to them and I'm not there and then it's my fault? What if I'm not there to be the friend that I typically am? And things go badly. Well, you know what? If you're real lucky, you burn that bridge enough so you never find out either way. It's the way things go. I had to burn a bridge last week. I, actually, ironically enough, while well, I was shooting my little Christmas friendship vlog, the previous vlog up on my channel, I had to burn a bridge. And didn't I was in the process of burning it at the time. Pouring the gasoline, getting the matches going. And I'm not entirely happy with having to do it. But it was just going to become an endless cycle, round and round and round. And this particular person needed more help than I was able to give. And I couldn't bring myself to stay around and watch and be treated like a piece of crap. So, since we had already had the fight before, and we're already, no, we're not going to talk again. Two weeks later, we're back in the same situation. No. This time I lit that, I lit it up, burned it to the ground. It's done. It's gone. It's over. And the good thing is about the burned bridge, is sometimes that bridge is long enough that even when you look back, you can't see the other side. That makes any sense. So the holidays are coming, and you're going to be surrounded, hopefully by good people, hopefully at least by some good people, or maybe you're going to be surrounded by a bunch of toxins that are going to eat away at your self-esteem, abusive folks who are not going to have your best interests at heart, who are not going to take care of you. Got to get in the light, Wes. You're a vlogger. Got to stay in the light. And maybe you need to know but to not just walk away, but to make sure they can't follow. And make sure you can't turn around and go crawling back if you feel guilt. It's okay. Once you make that decision and you're core in that decision. Now, I'm not saying, you know, walk into your bank tomorrow and tell your boss to go fuck themselves necessarily. I'm not saying burn bridges like that. If you don't have a small plan, you could. Wouldn't blame you. I burned some of those bridges too. Saying just free yourselves of the drama. Don't be afraid to free yourselves from the drama and the toxins and the genuinely shitty people that we seem to collect in our lives. It's okay. Light it up like napalm and apocalypse now. Love the smell of it in the morning. Because you know what? When you do it right, and you wake up the next day, and you know that bridge is ashes, it is such... A bloody relief. I'm Wes. I have a Spreadshirt. I have a Society6. I have an Instagram. They will be all down below. And, yeah. Light them up if you need to, people. It makes things a lot easier to deal with sometimes. I will... Talk to you later. I got an early morning tomorrow.